Hello! In this demo video I will show you how to reach this neon effect using Photoshop and Neon Maker action set. And all of this with minimum effort. With current action set you can create neon effect from any text or shape or create custom results. Finally, you will see how to enhance your result picture and set up it for more realistic look, applying add-ons elements and color correction. Before using actions, you need to load all preset files that are necessary for action work. First, you need to load layer styles. Go to flyout menu, choose load styles. Then choose ASL file and click open. Next, brush presets. We are going to brush presets panel. Then load brushes and pick up file with ADR extension. Finally, action file. Once again go to flyout menu, then load actions and choose ATM file. Here is the list of our actions. Now we are going to create a new document. So go to File, New. Let's give it a various name, for example, Test. Put dimensions of 6500 pixels width and 4500 pixels height with resolution of 72 ppi and click OK. Now go ahead and get Type 2 which also you can get by pressing T key. I am using Pacific Color font in this example. I will put a link to this font and others on my item page. Now let's get started to prepare our app. The very first thing we need to do is to run step 1 action that makes some basic structure to our working player. The next step 2 action creates 80 table 66 pixels width contour. Run step 3 to pick up razor brush. Erase unwanted parts from contour to get feeling of more realistic view of neon tube. When you have done with it, click step 4 to finish contour. The last step is step 5 that creates background. After the background has been created, select layer with the name template and choose one from 5 actions that creates glowing neon effect. Now create a new document. Put up these settings into fields. Get a shape tool to draw a star in the middle of the document. Do the same steps as in the previous part when we have created contour from text. After these steps, we are going to create some parts inside Star with a brush tool. To do this, double click on any smart object inside yellow neon group. To pick up the brush with a size of 66 pixels, run action with the name Select Brush 66px. Then make changes using your brush tool. And well, 
closing the document, click Save Changes. Now select Pen Tool, or also you can get it by pressing P key. Start drawing your pass lines. Also, you can modify them by using Pass Selection Tool or Direct Selection Tool. After you have done with Pass Creating, go to Actions Panel and select Stroke Current Pass. Do these steps for each line you have created. When you are finished, select Layers and merge them. Select one from five actions to apply an effect for created artwork. All the same steps as before. We are creating a new document with these settings. Pick up 66 pixels brush tool using action. If you are using pen tablet, go to brush panel and uncheck such preferences as shape dynamics and transfer. Also make sure you don't use any of pressure settings and your brush opacity is 100%. Create a new layer and make some hand-drawn line artwork. Run step actions but skipping step 2 and 3, because we don't need to generate editable counter. Try Smart Object to be able to divide the layer into two parts. Using Lasso tool, cut out Cherry Stall into new layer. Finally, apply main Neon Actions to created layers. Actually, it's my favorite part of this video where you will see how to get a finished effect from blank page to a shiny neon effect, using nothing but actions, your fantasy and design skills. Go to Actions panel and select Action that generates lines template with 66 pixels width which actually help us to know how we need to scale our artwork to make lines fit precisely to 66 pixels width. Import, draw or drag and drop any line artwork inside the document. Transform template and artwork layer in suitable for your form and uh, analyze if both layers align correctly. After you have finished scaling, you can delete lines template. Do all the steps as in the previous demonstration 
where we created a cherry to prepare our layer for applying neon effect. Now we are going to apply switched off neon effect. Now open the DONS files that are located in the PSD folder of the main folder. Select virus group and with a move tool drag and drop it into the working document. Put it on the position you choose. Select folder you see on the screen and then go ahead and pick up the pen tool. Then draw a pass line and make it shape similar to a wire hanging on the wall. When you have finished drawing the pass line, select one from two actions that strokes it and click run button. And do the same steps for other wires. If you feel that you have done with background and wires and you won't do any further modifications, you can merge both and rasterize them. Now we want to add some add-ons elements. Go to file we have just opened and select fixing layer group and then drag and drop into the main document. Give the position for the element and make sure that on the layers panel it goes above the neon effect group. Duplicate it multiple times and then give them the position and make some transformations if needed.
change the color of switched off neon. To do this, select from the first to 12 layer and combine them into the group. After that, go to Adjustment Layers and select Hue Saturation. Then hold Alt key and click on group we have created. Play with settings to reach color you want. I made a copy from one of the layers to show you how to colorize fixing elements if you use shiny neon. Open Fixing Element Group and find a layer with the name Add Color and click on it. In the Showed Up window, change settings to achieve color you want. Do this for other elements. It's the rhyme ruler, the mind of the master, the prom poet designer.